guys and welcome back to pixel cherry ninjas channel today we're going to test out the latest uh, alpha core that martin donlon has uh, released uh, yeah in alpha state and there's a whole bunch of games it's the irm m92 core so we're going to go through the games uh, we're going to go through all the games see which ones are working what the state of them are now remember this is an alpha core so expect issues it's just really nice of martin to actually drop it for us and for us to play and enjoy so let's have a look at the first game on here which is blade master so guys one thing um stick around for the end of the video if you uh, if you don't want to watch the games and you just want to go straight to the tutorial go to go to the end of the video just check it out and uh i'll show you how you can get this running it's not too difficult but if you're unsure of how to do it just watch the end of the video um and one other thing i'm actually playing while i'm doing this i'm not recording it and doing a voiceover after so i'm really sorry you are going well as well as that lady scream you're going to hear my buttons being bashed but i'm excited about this i wanted to get this video out straight away and i wanted to test the games now blade master is a game i've played on emulation even though this core is it's it's an alpha core it's in its infancy honestly like the the just the reduction in latency it just feels good i don't know fpga gaming i just love it so much i've got nothing against emulation i use it almost on a daily basis but wow there's just a big difference uh it just feels so so responsive i know it's in an alpha state but man does it feel good and and this game here blade master looks absolutely fantastic now i'm going to edit some of this video because when you're loading up some of the games you may be faced with a black screen for a few seconds uh but just remember if you have got a black screen just wait it out and i'll tell you the games that didn't work for me but maybe you can try them out and they'll work for you who knows but let's move on to the next game now okay so this is our next game gun force 2 as you can see there are graphical glitches present let's try it and start a game and play it anyway i'm going to call myself max because that's the default name um so yeah as you can see it is an alpha work in progress if you really wanted to play it well you could kind of play it. you can still run around and do stuff but there are a lot of graphical glitches um so excited about this a massive thank you out to martin donlon dude absolutely love your work and what a great gift to have monday morning and the best thing was i was off work so i'd actually i could actually stick around and make this video but let's move on to the next game uh and see how that one uh, performs okay so the next game is gun force one so we looked at gun force two this is gun force one and this is actually working okay now when i say okay i am only touching the surface with these games maybe later on there's going to be more graphical glitches there might be issues uh but i definitely think it's worth trying out uh, at least for me um just during the testing and while i was setting up the buttons a lot of them looked very very play worthy uh and yeah man like this this gun force i kind of like this it reminds me i kind of get like a lot of the turrican vibes out of it and just it looks good it feels good i never really played it before apart from like when i covered it in videos before i ran it on emulation uh, once again i apologize for my buttons uh, i am just kind of real live testing this anyway let's move on to the next game okay so the next game is hook a game a beat-em-up based around peter pan and the lost boys hopefully i'm not wrong there but at least uh, that's what it reminds me of yeah it definitely is that isn't it uh oh yeah you've even got tinkerbell there so i i actually played this on emulation and you know what guys this is a good game to play with the kids uh, if you want to if you want to play a game with your kids sometimes i play uh, games with my kids usually they're, they're like playing their own stuff but they have two days a week they're not allowed games and sometimes when i'm off work on those days i let them play games but the thing is i pick the game that i want them to play but this looks really really nice uh very very playable feels good uh definitely 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 check this game out uh so we've got hook work into a decent level again like i said there may be issues with it later there may be issues i'm not spotting and you will spot uh this is an alpha and you know what it is awesome let's move over to the next game okay so our next game is in the hunt and honestly guys like this is one of the ones i was i was really looking forward to to be honest there's a lot of good games on the irm m92 system and this one's fantastic along with uh ninja baseball batman our type leo to be honest pretty much all of the games on this system are fantastic and this game just feels good it looks good and it's a shooter with a difference and this to me looks very very playable i could not find any issues with it but again i'm not the one with 
the, the sharpest eye. You may find stuff in there, but again, for an alpha, like this is brilliant. It's not even a beta, it is alpha. It's a stage before a beta. It is an alpha release, it is an early release, and I honestly can't thank uh, Martin Donlon enough, man. The guy is just awesome. What a gift for Monday morning. So this is in the hunt, absolutely love it. And if there's like things up top, you've got another fire button. And if you go hit the top, you can fire those up. What a fantastic game and what a twist on a shooter. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one now. Okay, so the next game is Lethal Thunder. And honestly, this is as far as I got. I just got to a black screen. I got that little thing up there and the game didn't boot up. I left it I left it idle for a couple of minutes. Nothing came up. So Lethal Thunder doesn't work. Um, do test it out yourself. Let me know if it works for you. I, as far as I know, it doesn't work. It didn't work for me. I ran it a few times. Let's just move on to the next one. Now we're looking at a game called Mystic Riders. And uh, yeah, this is this game is decent. I like it. It reminds me it reminds me of that game Cotton. You know where you you know witch flying around on a broomstick. Very very similar to that. Here we go. Let's get in here. Wow, look at it. Look at the graphics, man. It just looks so so good. Nice. Okay. I think you can like kill yourself in this game. Like I, I held down this fire. Oh, there you go. I don't know what I done there. <laughs> I kind of held it down and, and I shot myself, but this game looks fantastic. Uh, I kind of queued them up. Um, yeah, it's it's decent. Or maybe I'm getting hit by stuff that I can't can't see. Uh, either way, uh, remember it is an alpha. There's probably issues there. I'm not familiar with this game, so I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, but yeah, it looks really, really good. Definitely check this one out for yourself. Look at that. The other button just, just fires your broomstick out. How fantastic is this game? Our next game, Ninja Baseball Batman. I know this is one that always comes up when we're talking about upcoming calls and what people are most looking forward to. Unfortunately, all I got was a little bit of sound and nothing else. Uh, the game didn't work. I tried pressing the credit button as well after setting the buttons and it didn't register uh, the control. Sorry, I turned the sound up there a little bit. Hopefully it's not too loud, but that's literally all I got. I only got sound. Again, remember it's an alpha. Uh, Martin's gonna work it out. Martin is quick. Martin. You know, like on Saturday's news video, we were talking about this and all of a sudden it's out. But all I got was sound for Ninja Baseball Batman. So let's move over to the next game. So here is another one I was greatly looking forward to and I'm sure many of you were to R-Type Leo. Leo, I'm a big R-Type fan. I only ever, ever really played the first one in the arcade, uh, on the Game Boy, uh, so many different formats. Like I've always... I've always thought there's never a bad version of R-Type. Even a Spectrum version was great. If there is a bad version of the original R-Type, then let me know. I'd want to check it out just to see if that is true. Again, sorry, you're going to hear my buttons because I'm mashing it in this. It's really weird. Like in this one here, you can't hold to kind of charge your fire, which is something that I was greatly, greatly used to in the R-Type games. But this one just feels good. I mean, like when you push your pod button, I love the way your pods go forward and fire, man. That is just so fantastic. And definitely check this game out um if you're on the fence about you know putting an alpha on manually then wow this should be your reason alone i mean you've got a bunch of reasons but wow this game looks good i can carry on playing this i'm not going to i'm going to move on to the last game which is the final game but wow i'm going to play this off camera later what an awesome game okay our final game is one called undercover cops and guys the graphics for this are beefy they are good the sprites are big and it's a yeah it's quite it's quite an intense beat em up i really really like it uh, i've tried it on emulation before i've kind of used it as overlays in the videos uh, but it's, this seems to work okay so you've got three characters my general rule is when i start a game i just always pick the middle character it just seems to be the best kind of mix that's a general rule when i get into a game then obviously i move around i try different stuff but look how good this looks look how big like the sprites and the characters are love that charge man kind of reminds me of urine's charge from street fighter 3 third strike um so yeah guys a massive shout out to martin donlon man like amazing work getting this call to where it is 
how good it is just in the alpha stage. I can't imagine how good this will be once it is uh, once it is in beta or once it is fully complete. Absolutely love the M72 core he done. Now we've got the Irem M92. And guys, remember, uh, straight after this, there's a tutorial of how you can get this up and running the manual way if there's something you want to check. Um, if obviously you want to be patient, then you can wait for it until it gets fully complete and it's added to the update all script. At least for now, it's not and you have to do it manually. Uh, so yeah, definitely stick around and watch that if that's something uh, you're interested in. So guys, if you are here, then you want to know how to add these games on manually. I'll leave links to everything in the description of this video, so be sure to check that out. Uh, I'll leave a, a link to Martin Donlon's tweet where he's left a Git GitHub link. Uh, so click on that and that will bring you here. I'll, I'll leave links to both. Now, you've got a couple of options here. Uh, what you can do is once you're on this page, you can download everything manually one at a time. So for this is the core that we want, which is a .rbf file. Now you can right click on that and do save link as, and it will go to your saving location and you will save it. And let's say, for example, you want to play Blade Master, right click on that, save link as, and you can save the MRA. Uh, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to go up here. I'm going to click on Arcade Iron M92 Mister. And that's going to bring me over here. Then I'm going to go over to code. And on that, I'm going to go download as zip. That's going to download everything. It's going to add some additional stuff that I don't require, but it just makes it makes it easier than downloading everything individually. So now let's head over to where our downloads are, which is over here. First thing I always do, and I know it's not necessarily necessary. It's just something that I'm in the habit of doing, which is I always just scan it. I know Chrome scans it, I know Windows scans it, and I do this in all my videos. Do your due diligence. Uh, so that's clean. What we're going to do is go ahead and let's just unzip that. Let's extract that. Use whichever one uh, you like using. I generally use 7-zip. WinRAR is fine as well. So let's go extract files and let's just extract it in the same location. Now for the sake, uh, sake uh, of housekeeping, I'm just going to delete uh, the zip because we don't need that let's have a look in here okay so we're going to have a look in here and we want to go to releases once we're in releases we've got the rbf file so first thing we want to do is the rbf file just rename it and you don't even need to rename it you just need to delete the hyphen and alpha from the beginning so once you do that here we go where it's down here it should just be irim m92 underscore and then the day and what we want to do is head over to so this is the mr sorry i should have said this at the beginning this is the mr sd card this is my downloads folder and this is the main folder so uh once we we'll go over to your mr sd card go over to arcade and then go over to cores and if you were trying to work this out yourself, you can see all the .rbf files for the arcade cores are in the arcade and cores folder. So what we want to do now is I've already copied it. So it's going to tell me do I want to write over it, which I can do. So let's just copy the, uh, the RBF file. Remember, remember, it's very important. Get rid of that alpha thing at the beginning. So it looks exactly like you can see it here and just copy that in here. OK, replace that in the destination. We've done that. I'm doing, doing this over a network, so it's not the fastest because I'm only doing a, a few small files. If I was doing a big job lot, I would take the SD card out and I would uh, just plug the SD card directly into my PC. Now, the next thing we want to do is let's get out of cores. So let's go back one and let's go into the arcade folder. Now you can see we've got lots of MRAs here. So what you want to do is all the MRAs here for the games from Blade Master all the way to Undercover Cops. Let's just copy that and we will copy these in here. Again, I've already I've already done this. I've tested it out. Uh, so I know we, what are working and what are not. But we're just going to go replace files in destination and let it do its thing. OK, now that we have got the MRA files, We've got the core with the adjusted name in there uh, in the correct folder. We've got the MRAs in the correct folder. We're almost good to go now. I tried running update all, which often having uh, the MRA files in there fetches uh, the ROMs for me. In, in this case, it didn't. But what I have got is I have got a version of MAME handy on my PC. Now, one thing over here, let's do, let's use In The Hunt as an example. Now, if you were to open um, In The Hunt with a text reader, for example, like Notepad or something, you can see some information about it that's useful to us. Now, the name is In The Hunt 
and then it says main version 0245 now in my experience as long as it's 245 or above it will work uh, and it did for me so and and the, the the name of the main zip is in t hunt so remember that one that's what we're going to look for in our main folder um and so here we are that's my main and my main version is 251 so it's, it's a few versions newer so let's go into rom and let's just look for that okay here we are in t hunt yeah and what you want to do is you now want to go over let's go over to the root of the mr sd card let's go over to games and then we want to go over to MAME because it's a MAME ROM that we are putting in there. I've already got this in here already, but for the sake of the tutorial, let's just do that. Okay, so let's copy the uh, in the hunt, like the zip file, INT hunt, and let's just copy that into our MAME folder. Okay, I've already got it again. We're just going to replace that. Now, you, before you do this, you can just try updating, uh, running updates or after you've put the RBF and the MRA files on, and it, it may work for you. It didn't work for me, so I've got MAME handy. I just did everything manually. And honestly, once you've done that, the game will appear in your arcade games list, and you're ready to play like all the games we played at the beginning of this video. So guys, that's really it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you found it useful. If you did, then a subscription and a like is super appreciated. I'll see you guys around in the next video. This is Pixel Cherry Ninja out.